Hot day in Atlanta today. While I'm sitting in the line at Chick-fil-A, I thought it might be appropriate to talk about our inspirational vitamin for the day. Pace makes waste. You know, just the other week, I was at a convention where I was about to speak and I hurried over to the steps so that I could make my way down to the lobby area. Meanwhile, a couple of other people, they went and they got on the elevator, which was seemingly a bit more out of the way for me. I wanted to get down there in a rush and a hurry. Well, I made my way over to the steps and they made their way down the elevator, but they were getting off the elevator as I was coming out of the steps. They smiled at me and it was one of those awkward moments. You know, those moments where you're like, well, seems like all that extra work and effort I put into it still didn't get me ahead. Much like when we're in a car and we try to race towards the light and we beat someone past one light towards the next one and then they pull up right next to us at the exact same light. Wasn't that a lot like life? You know, George Washington Carver once said, if I were given six hours to chop down a cherry tree, I would take the first four to sharpen the ax. A lot of times in life, that's what we have to do. We have to sharpen the ax first, realizing that haste makes waste and we don't always have to rush in order to get things done. But if, if, if we just take the extra time out to just sharpen the saw, to take the elevator at times, to just take the time out and to smell the roses as I said in the past, then we'll find out that life will be a lot more easier and a lot less cluttered. Haste makes waste. Be blessed, be encouraged. And as always, stay focused, my good people. Now, man.